Welcome back to the HB channel. My name is Hans Beekhuizen and this time we look at the tiny AudioQuest Dragonfly version 1.2 DA converter. Believe it or not, but last weekend the Dragonfly amazed me when it sat on the windscreen wiper of my car for 8 km, despite the up to 80 km per hour speed. Suddenly I remembered I still had to review the AudioQuest Dragonfly DA converter I received for review over half a year ago. When it came in I immediately hooked it up between my day to day work computer, a MacBook Pro, and the HP monitor that is equipped with an internal DA converter, amp and loudspeakers. The sound using the Dragonfly was much better than sending the audio digitally over HDMI to the monitor. It did place the tiny DA converter out of sight and you know what they say. More and more affordable DA converters hit the market, often also suited to drive headphones. The Dragonfly was already introduced a few years ago, initially costing 250 euros. About a year ago version 1.2 was introduced and the price was lowered to 149. It really looks like a thumb drive and not a big one either. On one side you find the USB connector that plugs directly into the computer and on the other side there is an analog audio output in the form of a 3.5 mm jack connector. On top there is an illuminated dragonfly symbol that changes color depending on the sample frequency of the material played. And that's all there is to see. There is no way to open the dragonfly so I had to rely on information from AudioQuest for what technology is used. The converter chip is one of the 24 bit ESS Sabre models that does 44.1 to 96 kHz sampling at up to 24 bit word length. Two separate clock oscillators are used, one for 44.1 and 88.2 and one for 48 and 96 kHz. Like many modern DA converters the Dragonfly uses the asynchronous USB audio profile 1 to communicate with the computer, so no drivers are needed regardless the operating system or the computer brand you use. Remarkable is the 64 step analog volume control that is controlled by the player's software in the computer. AudioQuest also mentions direct coupling of the analog circuits, so there are no capacitors in the audio path. As said, at my desk the Dragonfly played right out of the box. Despite the low-fi quality of the small loudspeakers in the HP monitor, the difference between the DA converter inside the monitor and the Dragonfly was extremely obvious. But now it was time to see how it held up against proper DA converters. I still got the Raspberry Pi Rune audio setup in set 1, so I plugged in the Dragonfly and hooked it up to the AudioNote amp. Expectations were not too high since the USB connection with the Yugo didn't bring the sound I wanted, but again the Dragonfly impressed me. It was able to feed a heavily tweaked 6000 euro single in the tube amp, driving a set of 5000 euro a pair of speakers and not fall flat on its face. Voices were near to color free, sibilance was in control for at least 70%, lows were firm and there even was a fair depth in the stereo image. What lacked was the deep lows, the low time smearing, the resolution, the precise stereo image, imaging and so on. But that's compared to a 40 times more expensive core DAC converter, not a fair comparison by any standard. But compared to the best in its own class, like the Musical Fidelity V90 DAC, my reference in set 3, it did just as well. The V90 DAC does cost 100 euros more, but it offers SPDIF inputs too. The Dragonfly is also of the same quality as the Micro DAC 3 by Newforce, although it has a different sound profile. Slightly less mid-low and somewhat more presence, less Panasonic camera, more Sony or for people of my age less AGFA, more Kodak. Both are fair approximations of the truth, but from different angles. Perhaps the strongest points of the Dragonfly are at the same time the reason this review came so late. Its size 
and the remote controllable analog volume control. You just forget it's there. That goes for stationary use, but also for mobile use. Use a small adapter cable between your smartphone, or iPod if you still use that, and the Dragonfly, and you hardly notice it's there, apart from the sound quality of course. Having said that, its price is a rather strong point too. Don't think you buy the best converter south of a thousand euros, but it's way better than many DA converters the computer industry offers for the same or lower prices. They may look more or less the same, but they are a far cry from the Dragonfly. With this product you do buy a converter that makes music at a pleasantly low price. That's it for this time. New shows are on the way, so subscribe to this channel, follow my Facebook page or my Twitter account if you want to keep posted. You'll find the information in the description below. You can read the full review including a link to the manufacturer's site on the hbproject.com. Questions can be posted below on my Facebook page or on the contact page on the hbproject.com. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends about it. My name is Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.